Yo, 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 BJR, Game Media Rhythm Institute. Listen, my man Jimmy Flames has some more information. It's vital, okay? We talking about how to set up your audio in Studio One, and we got some more information we're gonna talk about with the drivers. Shout out my man Gregor Byler, too. Let's get it. Thanks, BJR, for the introduction. This is Jimmy Flame with Media Rhythm Institute. Today, we're in Studio One, five, and I recently came across this problem. Uh, it's been addressed a lot, or, or a lot of people have asked me questions about this. Um, and, and the problem is when you come in here to a, um, a song and you play it and you're getting audio through both your master bus uh, down here. Also, uh, you're getting a signal and there's just no audio coming through the speakers. Well, Studio One has made it real easy to troubleshoot this. And what we're going to do is go up here to Studio One, click on that, and then we'll scroll down to Options. Click on Options and Audio Setup. We'll go to that, and then we're using Windows Audio. So I'm going to show you the routing for Windows Audio here real quick. But you hit the Control Panel. And then up here, you'll see a thing called exclusive mode. I'm not going to push it right now because I don't want the system to overtake my microphone so you can hear me. But uh, one way to deal with this is if you hit exclusive mode, Studio One will, will take over uh, the audio of your, of your computer, your Windows audio. And that usually does the trick. Another thing you want to do is come down here and uh, playback device. Make sure your, your, the right playback, playback device is used. Um, some people will actually want... Speakers, real tech audio, that's fine. Um, I, I route everything through my Onyx Producer 2.2, uh, which is a wonderful product if you're, if you're into the Mackie stuff. And then same with recording device. I have my microphones routed through here through the Onyx Producer, so I do that as well. But just make sure that whatever your routing, whatever your desired routing is, that that's chosen. A lot of you will actually, again, a lot of you will actually choose speakers, real tech audio, and then your recording device might be your microphone, uh, another microphone here. Just know that wherever your microphone is being routed through, either whether it's hardware or just through the computer, that that's chosen as well. Another thing you wanna do uh, is go down here to manage audio devices. You wanna click that, and another window is gonna pop up over here. And as you can see, uh, my producer is, is picked, and I'm gonna click on that, and I'm gonna hit properties, and then I wanna go over here to advance, Phone's ringing. I'm a popular guy. Hey, <laughs> I hit advance. And then right here where you can see uh, your um, your bit rate and all that, your, your bits and, and hertz and all that stuff, you want to make sure that this matches up to your project. So if you chose um, 44.1 for your project, you want to make sure that your, that, your, um, that your speaker properties are set to 44.1 as well. It'll probably come up in Hertz, so it's 44,100 Hertz. I've chosen 24-bit, uh, 44,100 Hertz studio quality, so that matches. Um, the main thing here is to match up the, the audio that you've chosen in the beginning of your, of your music file or your project file with your speaker properties here. So I'm going to cancel that out because I've already have, have that chosen. That was in playback, by the way. And then also I'm going to go over to recording and my microphone. Here is where you're going to choose wherever your microphone is being routed to. Again, mine's being run through the Onyx producer. So I'm going to choose that as well. Properties, same thing. Go over to advanced, hit that, um, come down here. Two channels, 24-bit, 44100. It all matches up. So I should be good to go. Now, one last thing you want to check out is up here back in the exclusive mode under options. When you hit exclusive mode, another good thing that it does is it gives you more control over the latency. I've got mine pushed all the way down to 10 because my computer can handle it. But here's where you want to experiment a little bit with latency um, as the exclusive mode will unlock this little feature right here. So you can either uh, you know, have low latency, you know, 10 milliseconds. You can push it all the way up to, let me see how far it'll go, to like 100 milliseconds which um, if you know some computers, you might have to go up to 40. I know a lot of people that record at 40, record and playback at 40, and it's just, just fine. It's just a little bit of annoying latency. But as you start to come down here, it gets smaller and smaller. I have mine set at 10. Again, my computer can handle it. And that's that. So again, Studio One makes it super easy to troubleshoot your routing, your audio routing, and all that good stuff. So if you're running into some issues, just play back this video again and make sure you like and subscribe 
to Media Rhythm Institute. We do all kinds of fun tutorials like this on here. I'm going to be diving more into the Studio One stuff a little bit later uh, as I've found this to be just a fantastic piece of recording software. It's my go-to doll these days. And until next time, late. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel and drop y'all links in the comments. Any other content that you all want us to do, make sure you comment that as well. You're out of here.